students so many times we have come across the words nucleosides and nucleotides many times we have confused with these two words so in this class we'll see the difference between these two and how the nucleosides are related to antiviral agents we'll see one by one first we'll see what they are so first we'll see about nucleosides so what are nucleosides it is having two parts one is a nitrogenous base another one is a sugar or deoxy sugar this nitrogenous base no that is otherwise called nucleobase so it is having this nitrogenous bases are having nitrogen because in the structure so because of the presence of that nitrogen that can be called as a base and that is present in the nucleus that's why totally it can be called nucleobases examples for that would be adenine guanine thymine cytosine uracil Uh, or xanthin or hypoxanthin so these four no xanthin hypoxanthin adenine guanine they are having purine in the structure they, that's why they are called purine bases the left three no they are having pyrimidine in the structure that's why they are called the pyrimidine bases now here we said the second one is a sugar or deoxy sugar that sugar may be ribose or deoxy ribose now we'll see the examples for nucleosides they are adenosine guanosine inosin thymidin cytidin and uridin so what is adenosin that is having two parts one is adenine and ribose so it is having two parts the combination of adenine and ribose that can be called as adenosin and the fusion of guanine with ribose that can be called as guanosin hypoxanthin with ribose that can be called as inosin thymine with deoxy ribose that can be called as thymidin then for cytidin it is the fusion of cytosine with ribose last one is uridine so that is the combination of uracil with ribose so here the nitrogenous bases are usually combined with ribose so exception is only for thymidin so if we are getting thymidin so what they are it is a fusion of thymine with deoxy ribose that is the one having deoxy sugar so that is for thymidin now we'll see nucleotides what are nucleotides that is having three parts that is a nitrogenous base one another is a sugar or deoxy sugar and third one is the phosphate group that is having one to three phosphates that is a mono di or tri phosphate so what are the three parts present here nitrogenous base sugar or deoxy sugar another one is the phosphate already we have seen these two that is nitrogenous base and sugar or deoxy sugar that can be called as a nucleoside that's why the nucleotides otherwise otherwise can be the fusion of nucleoside with the phosphate so we'll see the examples already we have seen adenosine guanosine that are all coming under nucleoside so the examples for nucleotide would be adenosine monophosphate or adenosine diphosphate or adenosine triphosphate so similarly guanosine monophosphate guanosine diphosphate guanosine triphosphate or inosine monophosphate inosine diphosphate or inosine triphosphate thymidine di monophosphate thymidine diphosphate thymidine triphosphate cytosine sorry cytidine cytidine monophosphate cytidine diphosphate cytidine triphosphate or uridine monophosphate uridine diphosphate uridine triphosphate so what they are so this is the fusion uh, there is having three parts one is a nitrogenous base another one is a sugar or a deoxy sugar and third one is a phosphate that is having one to three phosphate groups so for example we'll see the structure of adenosine monophosphate so we have known the structure of adenosine so in the case of adenosine we have ch2oh so here the h is replaced by means of one phosphate that is monophosphate means that is called adenosine monophosphate if that is replaced by means of triphosphates so three phosphates that's why it is called adenosine triphosphate that is replaced by means of two phosphate groups so the h is replaced by means of two phosphate groups means that is called adenosine diphosphate so in simple we can tell the difference between nucleosides and nucleotides so here what is common for these two that is nucleo so leave that here this is side and this one is side so what is present here this is having side so s this is having tied t so in general we can say in simple we can say s it is having s no so that is having only sugar so it is having t 
so um, for remembrance i'll tell you that so in the alphabetical order after s only t would be coming so after s something would be there so here it is having t so after sugar something would be there so what is that that is called phosphate so if it is having side that is s means that is only having sugar not having phosphate if it is having tide that is having um, one more that is sugar plus phosphate so nucleoside is having only sugar nucleotide is having sugar plus phosphate now we'll see the how the nucleotides are related to antiviral agents here we have that uh, guanosine no so we have known the structure of guanosine what is meant by guanosine guanin with ribose that can be called as guanosine so already we have known the um, structure for a cyclovir so that can be otherwise called a cycloguanosin so we have known the structure of guanosin so what they are in guanosin guanin plus ribose so it is a cycloguanosin so one cyclic structure would not be there so it is guanosin so this may be present so instead of ribose that is having this part so what is the chemical name of guanosin in the ninth position what is attached to hydroxy ethoxy methyl guanin so guanin is there in the ninth position of guanin we have methyl ethoxy sorry hydroxy ethoxy methyl group so here in ninth position we have hydroxy ethoxy methyl means that is a cyclovir so what is inosin inosin is the fusion now hypoxanthin plus ribose that can be called as inosin so look at the name of didanosin didanosin its chemical name is 2 dash 3 dash dideoxy inosin so we have that inosin so inosin we have known so what is didanosin that is 2 dash 3 dash dideoxy inosin so in uh, this is the 2 dash uh, 2 dash position this is 3 dash so here in these two positions ox oxygen so are absent that's why it is not having oh in these two positions so this is the structure of didanosin that's why it is called ddi so what is the structure of didanosin this two oh oh present in second and third was absent for didanosin now come to thymidine so what is meant by thymidine fusion of thymine with deoxyribose that can be called as thymidine now come to zidovudine zidovudine is otherwise called azidothymidine so we have known the structure for thymidine so what is meant by acidothymidine so azide is attached with the thymidine so what is meant by azide n3 so what is the chemical name of thymidine sorry acidothymidine 3 dash acido 3 dash deoxythymidine so we have known the structure of thymidine so what is um, here in 3 dash position what is attached oh is attached so that is replaced by means of n3 means that is the structure for zidovudin that's all so what is zidovudin same as uh, thymidin here in third position we have hydroxy no so that is replaced by means of this azide that is n3 so that is called zidovudin now come to cytidin so cytidin what is cytidin fusion now cytosine with ribose that can be called cytidin now come to zalzitabin zalzitabin is chemically called 2 dash 3 dash dideoxy cytidin so we have known cytidin so what is meant by deoxy dideoxy cytidin second and third it is having that hydroxy groups you know that can be removed so in that question it is having only hydrogen so here these two hydrogens these two nodes second and third so that two would be removed for zalcitabin that's why it is called ddc so already we have seen ddi that is for didanosin this is ddc that is for zalcitabin the last one is uridin so what is the structure for uridin fusion of uracil with ribose that can be called as uridin now come to edox uridin so we can divide that into three that is id that is for iodine ox ox for deoxy uridin so we have known the structure for uridin so in the structure of uridin there may be substitution of iodine that is I, id and there may be removal of oxygen so id for iodine ox for deoxy and uridin so where the iodine is attached in the fifth position where the oxygen is removed deoxy group in second position so so in this fifth position no that is having iodine 2 dash deoxy so this oh is not there so that is the structure of edox uridine so what is the structure of edox uridine same as that of uh, uridine here in the fifth position it is having iodine and 2 dash position this o is not there so it is not having oxygen only having hydrogen in the second position of ribose so that's all about about the relationship between nucleosides with antiviral agents